Good morning, YouTube. It's your boy Musa back with another vlog. It's never morning, it's like 1 30. I want to sleep around 7 30 ish in the morning, didn't fall asleep until 8. Wife woke me up literally. I like started waking me up at like quarter to 12. Mm, get up, mm, we got things to do, mm, mm, gotta get ready. Mm. <sighs> so I'm up. Like asleep, I did not weigh myself. I'm, I'm not that crazy. I'm not that crazy. If I get on the scale, probably weighing like, like, I don't even know how much because ain't no, my body ain't had time to do anything. Feel like I just closed my eyes and woke back up. But I'm about to go to the gym, knock out a quick bit of legs, get some blood flowing in the legs and whatnot. Nothing crazy. Do a bit of back as well and then just knock out cardio because today, food wise, I have no idea what the situation's gonna be. So get a quick exercise in, hour hour and a half max in the gym come home for like let's say quarter to three shower up get ready and then we're gonna leave for around is it raining it's it's rain it's rain hey and i'd rather have rain than blazing sun i ain't gonna lie but yeah that's it's it's raining <sighs> what a day already in it uploading yesterday's vlog that's the reason why i went to sleep around seven eight you know seven eight in the morning also got all my drawings and everything sent to my clients so we all goody on that department but as for the way i'm feeling feeling kind of you know that's the best way for me to describe it today's video topic i thought about i was like sent up to a wedding i won't be able to record much i'm gonna go there i'm not taking my camera or anything i'm gonna enjoy the vibe i'm gonna be there vlogging and stuff i ain't got time for that i'm gonna talk to you guys about the reason why my calories are so low but first let's go knock out this quick workout great session reason number one why my calories are so low is because of movement my movement is very minimal outside of the gym which is like two and a half hours and my nighttime walk i don't move the rest of the day i'm sitting right here in the seat recording or drawing most of my day is neat where i'm just sitting down not no physical activity just chilling so that's the reason why my calories are so low that's one of the reasons there's more reasons but we'll discuss that once i go shower and get dressed cool So the second reason is preference. I don't really like eating those six meals a day, that type of energy. No, my calories are not enough even to split up into six meals. It's just, I like to do intermittent fasting with a lot of you guys know, which I'm currently doing right now. I'm fasted, it's what, four o'clock, still haven't eaten. It's not for everybody, but I like it. One, because I don't want to be interrupting my work all the time whilst I'm in my zone, do my work. Oh, I gotta eat a meal, get back into my zone. Oh, I gotta eat another meal. I got in them. It's better for me to do my intermittent fasting, break my fast, and then get back to work. Hold me for a couple of hours, and then eat again, and then boom, I'm good. Every now and then, I might have like a little snack in between, but I don't really class that as a meal, even though it is calories. But I mainly have two big meals throughout the day. But yeah, preference, personal preference, um, is a reason number two. If you've tried intermittent fasting, let me know in the comment section how it is, and your boys all suited up and that don't like wearing suits it's just not for me and my, and my body's not built for, <laughs> for suit wearing <laughs> yay so your boy's back from the wedding it's currently three in the morning <laughs> been out the house for almost 12 hours crazy amazing food amazing ceremony really nice really good man vibes good man energy reason number three why my calories are so low is my starting point body fat percentage was way too high so that way i had to take pretty drastic measures it was incorporate cardio crazy in the beginning and keep calories fairly fairly high not too high but fairly high it was i wanted the other it was either more cardio or less food and i was like you know in the beginning i'm not a big eater i can kind of drop the food um, and not do crazy cardio. I'll focus on my workouts, get get them solid one hour, two hour workouts, really hit those supersets, drop sets, focus on keeping my strength, that type of vibe. Because this year I was like, I'm more focused on keeping muscle size. Um, in previous years, I've made a mistake of diving into cardio way too early, 
and then end up feeling small whereas this time since we started in january it's now june well, today is july i think this has been like the most successful cut for me so far considering how much size i've kept and where we're heading body fat's coming off nice and slowly it's not too fast it's not too slow so i feel we're finding a nice rhythm i love handles were out of control i looked puffy when i walked close you could you could tell that i gymmed but it was i was just walking around just hella just swole <laughs> So that's the main reason why I decided to cut calories rather than increase crazy amounts of cardio. This one, if I wanna see single digits, I'm gonna have to end up going to like 1500 calories, banging out cardio in the AM, PM type of shit, if I wanna see that, because other than those hours in the gym, my movement is zero. I even got asked this question the other day in the gym. Some guy was like, like was just talking because I had seen me in a while, I haven't gone to that gym in a minute. He was like, oh, you look good. I see you're cutting veins and whatnot. starting to come through, blah, blah, blah. What's your calories? And obviously I told him my calories. He was like, what? What do you mean you're on that? Because I'm, I'm way taller than him. I'm bigger than him. And he was like, I'm on like 20, 26, 2700 calories. I was like, Tim, yeah, but the reason why I'm on such low calories is because there's 24 hours in a day, about 16 of that, I'm sitting here. <laughs> I was like, Tim, this, you see me in the gym, it's the first time I've left my house. And it was like 9 p.m. I think it was like, 9, yeah, 9 p.m. I was like, this is the first time I've stepped out of my house today. He was like, uh, that makes sense. So most of the day, you're just on neat. Like, there's no, no activity, no physical activity happening whatsoever. I'm just at a neat level. Just, just there. <laughs> just stagnant. Just recording, drawing, no movement. So that's why I have to be in the gym for a long time focus on my workout then i have to add cardio then i have to go for my walk and then my calories have to be hella low because of all of this stuff so that's why i always tell people make sure to look at your lifestyle before anything the life you're living is very important when i was at mcdonald's i said to him when i was at mcdonald's and i was working them eight hour shifts and whatnot the look like at this time during my cut i was on like 27 i was at him i was on 2700 calories and i was i was pretty much i think i was leaner than this I was on 2700 calories and, but again you got to adapt to your lifestyle you're going from standing up eight and nine hours moving back and forth sweating heat heart rate up and everything people talking at you ah ooh, ah ooh, ooh, to sitting down boom 16 hours it's a total contrast so that's very important make sure to keep that in mind but that's reason number three body fat percentage was way out of control <laughs> but yeah guys i'll catch you up tomorrow love life love life love life it's...